So how's the how's the mentality in the group right now heading into Atlanta? Uh, we're excited. We're you know we're having fun. Um, it's the last, you know, no matter what happens, it's the last week of the year. So we're all just enjoying everything and enjoying the moment and enjoying uh, the last little bit of time we have together. You were uh, in an MLS Cup before um, with Salt Lake, but it's obviously very different on um, being the backup versus being mm -hmm. the starter. What do you remember from that experience and what's it like this time around, you know, being in a completely different role? I remember how much it hurt not winning. Um, you know, you never know. That was my first, that was my first year in the league. And uh, when you when you make it to the final in your first year, you kind of think that that's the norm. And then uh, the more years you play, and you realize how difficult it is to get there, and just uh, how much how much it takes everybody, um, you know, from trainers to players to everybody, you know, everybody involved with the club. Uh, it takes a lot of work from everybody. So, you know, uh, I remember how much it hurt losing, and you know, I'm just excited to be back and get the opportunity to uh, to win one. Have you had a chance to really reflect at all on, on sort of your path to this point? Um, obviously, you were sitting behind Nick Raimondo for mm -hmm. multiple years, uh, and you had to come here and win a spot. Um, and now you're the starting keeper about to play in the MLS Cup game. Yeah, I mean, I think I'll, I'll reflect, you know, at the end of the year in the off season. Um, you know, we're trying to trying to really stay focused on the task at hand. And, you know, uh, it feels like, feels like every single game is, you know, it's just another opportunity for me to, to, to keep proving I belong uh, where, where we are and you know obviously I'm excited to be to be playing in this type of moment but as far as the whole year goes and just kind of uh, the year it's been for me I'll try to reflect on it after and you know I'm really just trying to stay focused on the season season at hand. You guys have had a lot of success on the road this playoffs you guys have really been able to come together in adverse environments what do you attribute that to and how much confidence does that give you going into Saturday? I think you know when we play at home uh, you know, it's always an intense, it's always, uh, it's always that type of environment. So, you know, when you play however many home games we do, I think it's 17, I don't even know at this point, but when you play as many home games as we do, and that's the environment every time you step on the field, you know, when you go away from home, uh, it's kind of the norm for us. You know, we're used to playing in front of loud crowds, we're used to playing in front of uh, big atmospheres, and, you know, I think that that's something that carries us on the road a little bit. Jeff, Jamie mentioned 2013, and that was that team's second cup final. It was your first, obviously. Mm -hmm. They're really classic MLS core players. Are there other parallels to draw with this year's team, another core that's becoming a classic core going into their second final? I think so. You know, you look at you look at the guys that the Timbers had the last time they won it, and uh, they're playing huge roles now. Um, you know, Valeri, Diego Chara, uh, Ridgewell, and, you know, uh, Jorge coming back, Milano. You know, that's a good, that's a good core group of guys, and... It's good leadership that we can lean on for the experience of, of what they've been through. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, reaching, reaching a second final is awesome for that core group because I think it kind of legitimizes them uh, and gives them the, the credit and the recognition that they should be getting. You mentioned Ridgewell. Uh, what is the difference between having somebody like him who, you know, is a little vocal back there yeah. and other players back there? Um, what kind of leadership does he provide and how does that affect your life? Yeah, Ridgie, Ridgie's amazing, man. He's, he's truly one of the best center backs I've ever seen. And just the way that he, he knows the game and the way that, you know, he organizes the back line in terms of when to step and, you know, where different people should be in different moments. Uh, you can tell that he, he sees the game at a, at a higher level. So, you know, to have someone like that in front of me and, you know, it kind of limits the, the organizing and the thinking of those types of things that I have to do so I can focus more on myself. So, you know, having Reggie back there is it's awesome. One thing I didn't ask you about is, you know, you guys are the offside line. He's managing it so well. But on Thursday, it led to a moment where, like, you almost got hurt. I mean, what do you yeah. think about this delayed offside rule? I mean, it looks pretty dangerous sometimes. Yeah, that was my first uh, really negative encounter with with the new rule but you know the reps tell us that's what that's what FIFA's asking them to do um, you know I also think that as reps uh, if it's if it's clear and obvious you know to have to have the confidence to put the flag up but you know at the end of the day the reps got the call right and you know we're, we're happy about that and you know uh, anything with the review system I think you know it's going to take some fine-tuning and you know it's just kind of kind of the struggles you kind of have to go through. Jeff I know you're sort of you know singularly focused on the MLS Cup right now, but I do wonder when you came to Portland, um, obviously you, you talked about, I'm here to win a spot, I'm not here to be a backup. What was kind of your motivation? Um, it, I know you were picked up in the expansion draft, but uh, wanting to come here and, and what you wanted to prove. You know, playing, it's funny, I always, my father-in-law isn't a, a big soccer guy, and whenever I was with Salt Lake, I used to always tell him, you know, when we play away at Portland, come come check this place out, come check out the environment, come check out the stadium, the atmosphere, the crowd. Uh, and you know, 
because I said you'll become a soccer fan because it's it's different from the things that you're used to seeing in the MLS and when I heard that I was getting the opportunity to come here and you know getting a taste of getting a taste of what it's like on the sidelines and being a part of the Timbers team you know it just gave me that extra motivation to to be the guy in the goal you know um, it's always been my goal to to be a number one in this league and you know to get to do it for an organization and a you know and a fan base and a team that you know it's just so passionate about it and really really truly cares about soccer which you know not all cities are like that in the league so you know it's just a little extra motivation to to be the guy here and you know fortunately it's worked out for me did you always have that confidence i mean in salt lake you know nick was always going to play but did you always have that confidence that you could compete for a starting role in this league if you just found the right spot i think it took time you know um i got a lot of games in salt lake and you know as you continue to grow as a player and as you continue to get more games and kind of see the results you're getting uh, you know, I, the confidence came with time. But once I got a few games there and I knew that if I could get out of Nick's shadow and, you know, go into a place where I had the chance to compete, I felt pretty confident that I'd be able to, to get the spot. Obviously, you guys are going to be focused on the game once that whistle blows. But what's it going to be like, you know, stepping onto the field in Atlanta with that atmosphere, uh, with the starting lineup? Oh, it's going to be awesome. You know, I think I think that we're going to enjoy every every minute of this week, uh, every minute that we're on the field. You know, it's it's probably a you know in terms of the MLS, you're thinking two clubs that have really upped up what the MLS is, and I think it's two teams that you know we play contrasting styles, but I think it'll make for a really fun game. And you know, the crowd's going to be electric, and it's just going to be a really really fun fun game to be a part of. Thanks, Jeff.